thanks for choosing to watch the video. As you can probably tell, I'm back down near the coast. And in this one, I wanna show you how you can use your perch gear to catch really nice mullet. Obviously the lures and everything might change, but what I mean really is my rod, my reel. You know, if you are going down to the UK coastline, either for a short break or a holiday, take your perch rod and reel uh, with a few bits that I'm gonna show you in this video. And honestly, some of the takes are explosive. Check this out. Jesus Christ. I know, crazy, isn't it? I'm not sure if you saw my previous video, but at the end of that trip, I did catch a really nice thin lip mullet. And I should say that the techniques in this video are particularly effective for thin lips. After a fair amount of work, we have got one, a mullet on the spinner. Very happy with that indeed. Cracking, cracking fish. They fight well. <laughs> I'm gonna get them back. Very, very happy. So in this video, we're gonna target the thin lip mullet again, but drill into the techniques in a bit more detail. We're uh, going down towards the sort of Hampshire Dorset sort of area. So uh, yeah, follow along and I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm back down the beach. I'm not gonna do much to camera because the wind's really bad as you can probably hear. Um, but yeah, just here for a quick evening session. Let's get that spinning rod out. See if we can get some mullet. Evening session out here fishing for mullet again. Only going to be like two hours or so, I would say. It's very windy, so I might not do much talking because I doubt you're going to hear me. It's it's actually very windy. but we're fishing a number four MEM spinner with the ISO worm in green, the large size on a panel rig. And let's hopefully pick up some mullet. So not the mullet we were hoping for, but hard to be disappointed with such a stunning fish. Right, quickly, let's go through the gear. Uh, so I have got the 21 gram ZT here. Uh, it's seven foot eight perch rod. So I use it for all my perch fishing. Stepped up the reel slightly. I would go up to about 2,000, 2,500 size reel. 
Again, the braid a little bit heavier. I think I've got 20 pound braid on here. Again, uh, the, the leader, I've stepped that up as well. That's more like 10 or 12 pound fluoro. But what I really want to talk about is the rig that we've got on the end. So there it is. Um, it's a little bit unusual looking. I've taken a MEP spinner and I've actually, um, I've snipped the trebles off of it and I've, I've tied onto it something called a panel rig, which um, I'll put a link somewhere as to how you would tie a panel rig. But essentially uh, it's a short boom where you've got two hooks on it. Uh, the top hook, in actual fact, just slides up and down. It's held in place with a bit of silicon. And the bottom hook is actually tied on with your favourite knot. You know, this one is tied on with a grinner. And you can see probably there you've got a boom that's maybe about four inches long. Uh, make that fairly stiff. I've got like 15, you could even use 18 pound fluoro. You want that to be quite thick so it is like a boom. Uh, if it's too thin, it gets caught around the spinner. In terms of the size of the hooks, I would go with a fairly fine wire. That's what I've got on the bottom hook. I've got a drop shot hook on the top one. And on the bottom there, a lot of mullet fishermen on the bottom, they will fish a bit of ragworm uh, underneath the spinner on that panel rig. For me, I want to keep it faithful to lures only. So what I've actually used is a bit of fake ragworm that's made of rubber that I've cut in half. Uh, it's in the green color. Uh, I've just got uh, a section of that on the panel rig at the bottom. Basically what can often happen when you're mullet fishing with just spinners is you get lots and lots of follows. And apparently that little trailer on the panel rig, uh, you know, they'll follow the lure in, won't have the confidence to hit the spinner, but they will hit that fake ragworm. Weird, I've lost a lot of fish tonight, like bumped them where I've hit a fish has grabbed it and I brought it in and I've got a scale on the hook. Um, this wind is making it difficult but I feel like it is starting to drop a bit. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? Jesus Christ, what the hell have I hooked? Jesus Christ, what the heck? Right, you want to get this then? Whatever it is, is not small, do you see? <laughs> Go. Oh god, what have we got here? I do not want this to come up. When that hit it, that reel was absolutely smoking. a nice one as well wow well that absolutely hammered the lure look at him what a stunning stunning mullet these really do fight these fish 
I am very, very pleased with that. This one is actually quite thick across the back. Right, I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind, but I just thought I'd quickly tell you that that fish was just under four pound. Uh, I might call it a day there because I've had a great bass, I've had a really nice mullet, and I think that's probably me done.